welcome back. I'm How To Naomi and you can find me on Instagram. And today I'm going to show you how to clean a toilet and how to make these toilet bath bombs. Here I'm putting in the baking soda first and this is super easy and you can find all these ingredients oh I'm sorry you can only find a few of the ingredients in your local store of course these are Young Living essential oils that I have here and the citric acid I had bought off of Amazon and so now I'm just going to stir this all up Now whenever I mist, I mist a few sprays at a time. I try to mix thoroughly and you're going to get a little bit of fizz but you shouldn't get much because if you get too much fizz then it's going to ruin the whole bomb. So you're going to kind of do it like or clump it together kind of like wet sand. If you've never felt wet sand before then just make sure that it doesn't turn into a dough because that's not what you're looking for. It'll be too wet then. So just until it clumps up very well and then you can put it together in whatever mold you want. Here I'm using a small, um, I guess you would call it a tiny muffin tin and I'm just slowly filling them up and then pressing down on them. Now these are supposed to leave to dry for about 24 hours but I didn't. Now I'm going on to an all-purpose spray and we'll get back to the bath bombs in a minute and here I used about four drops of each one of lemon and I'm sorry of lemon and then these and in my water bottle I have about a fourth of vinegar and the rest is water. Here I'm cleaning from top to bottom and the reason why is because I feel the bottom is the most dirtiest so I'm cleaning the least dirtiest and then down to the dirtiest areas. I use paper towels so that way I don't have to wash these. I feel I don't want to put these type of things into my washer so I mean I don't want to put any rags into my washer so I use these and then I'm using a toothbrush to get into the crevices of where the lid folds down and it just helps get down deep in there and I have to clean it several times because it is the dirtiest I feel. And this spray smells really good. And it does good in cutting down bacteria. So you're going to see where I'm going over this area multiple times and it's because it just seems to take a while to get clean. Now I am scrubbing very well with this spray but even though I can't get some of the stains out which you're going to see and some of the uh, toilet bowls scratched. Okay back to the bath bombs. I put these in the freezer for about 20 minutes and now I'm just popping them out. and they smell so strong. The peppermint kind of overrides the other scents and it smells very clean and very strong. It's, I can't really explain it, but it smells so good. So there goes the first one, it is fizzing And what I like about these is they're safe to leave overnight if I want. I usually or I used to use bleach and I was always afraid that my toddler was going to use a bathroom and that bleach water was going to splash onto his skin. So I'm so glad that I made these. Um, this is my first time making these and I'm really happy with the results. You're going to see here where it's taking off the stubborn stain that I haven't been able to take off forever. I've even used those stones that they sell to clean the toilet bowls and I just couldn't get it off. And this easy, sorry, this easy toilet bomb just takes it off like nothing.
and again it smells so good I wish you guys could smell through this computer or through this video but it smells really clean and strong not overpowering just you can notice it so if you're gonna have people over and you want to pop one of these into your toilet it's gonna freshen up your whole bathroom that was helpful and fun now these bath bombs smell so I'm sorry toilet bombs smell so so good and I hope you guys will try it and I hope you like it Thank you.